Yo, Wagwan, Yaman, yeah, Mr. Garfield here. We're going to look at a 2015 past paper question, all right, on module one, the principle of mathematical induction. Okay, so the question says use mathematical induction to prove that 10 to the power of n plus 1 plus 3 times 10 to the power of n plus 5 is divisible by 9, right? for all natural numbers. So let's get into the question, all right? Proof. So I'm going to let, all right, I'm going to let P of N, so let P of N be equal to 10 to the power of N plus one plus three times 10 to the power of N plus five, right? And we are to prove that this is divisible by nine. Now, anything divisible by nine means that it can be written as a nine multiplied by some positive integer, right? So, or nine multiplied by some natural number. So, so I can say that this is equal to nine M, all right, where M, is a member of the set of natural numbers, okay? I used M, but you could simply use any letter to represent the natural number. Okay, so let us do the base case now, all right? This is where we prove that P of N is true for N is equal to one. So prove, Prove that P of N is true for N is equal to one. All right, so I'm substituting one into P of N. So I can say P of one, substituting N as one, I will get 10 to the power of one plus one plus three multiplied by 10 to the power of one plus four five all right so when you compute that you will get p of one is equal to 135 as the answer all right and indeed 135 is divisible by nine all right so we need to write a statement here so i can say therefore p of n is true for n is equal to one since, since 135 is divisible by nine. All right, that is our statement. Good. Now we're going to have the inductive step. All right, the inductive step. This is where we assume that P of N is true for N is equal to one, N is equal to K, sorry, and then prove that P of N is true for N is equal to K plus one. All right, let's do that. So assume, all right, assume that P of N is true for N is equal to K, all right? So basically, I'm going to substitute N as K into P of N here, all right? So let's look at it. So in other words, in other words, P of K is equal to 10 to the power of K plus one, all right, plus, three times 10 to the power of K plus five, and that is equal to nine M, right? So in other words, that is true. We're assuming that to be true, all right? Now, please note that this P of K here is called the inductive hypothesis, all right? You can also call it the assumption. Okay, so, let us continue. Now we're going to prove that P 
of n is true, p of n is true for n equals k plus one. All right, so let's do that proof here. So p of k plus one is equal to just substituting n as k plus one into p of n, I will get 10 to the power. Remember the power was n plus one. So if I substitute n as k plus one, I will get k plus one plus one, right? Plus three times 10 to the power n, n here is k plus one, okay, plus five. That is what we have, good. So what I'm going to do now is to just split the first two terms, all right, using the laws of indices. So I can say that P of K plus one is equal to 10 to the power of K plus one, all right, multiplied by 10 to the power of one plus three times 10 to the power of K multiplied by 10, right? Multiplied by 10. The power of one, of course, plus five. All right, that is what I will have. So I'm simply using the laws of indices, which says if I have a to the power of m plus n, that is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. Okay, that is what I'm doing. So this is now equal to p of k plus one is equal to 10 is being multiplied by 10 to the power of k plus one plus three multiplied by the 10 gives us 30 multiplied by 10 to the power of k plus five. All right, that is what we will have. Now, what I'm going to do is to replace the 10, the 10 to the power of k plus one, all right, using the inductive hypothesis. So from p of k, I can say that 10 to the power of k plus one, when I make that the subject, I will get 9m minus three times 10 to the power of k minus five, right? Let's just write a statement here now. So I can now say from the inductive hypothesis, from the inductive hypothesis, all right, from the inductive hypothesis, 10 to the power of k plus one is equal to 9m minus three times 10 to the power of k minus five. All right, that is what I will have. So if that is the case, it implies that P of K plus one is now equal to 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of K plus one. But remember now that we're replacing that as 9M minus three times 10 to the power of K minus five. All right, that is what we'll have. And we still have the plus 30. 10 to the power of k plus five, okay? Good. Let's now expand the brackets. So 10 is being multiplied by each term inside the brackets. So 10 multiplied by 9m gives me 90m. 10 multiplied by a negative three times 10 to the power of k gives me a negative 30 times 10 to the power of k and 10 times a negative five will give me a negative 50. All right, and I still have my other terms, which is a positive 30, 10 to the power of K plus five. Okay, now clearly you can see that the negative 30, 10 to the power of K will cancel out with the positive one. All right, so this is now going to be equal to 90 M and we have negative 50 plus five, which simplifies to negative 45. All right, that is what we have. Good. So remember that we're trying to prove that P of K plus one is divisible by nine, right? 
So nine is nine can go into both the 90m and 45. So we can factor out a nine here. All right, we're gonna factor out a nine. When I do that, I will get 10m, okay, minus five. So 90m divided by nine gives me 10m and negative 45 divided by nine gives me negative five. All right, and I can now say that P of K plus one is equal to nine times, no, remember that we stated that M is a natural number. M is a member of a set of natural numbers. So 10 multiplied by a natural number gives me a natural number, right? Minus five still gives me a natural number. So it means that P of K plus one can be written as nine times some natural number. I'm just going to call it T, all right? I'm just going to call it T. And we have to state what T is, okay? So where T is a member of the set of natural numbers and T is equal to what is inside the brackets. That is 10M minus five, okay? That is what we will have. So I can now say that therefore, P of K plus one is true, all right? P of K plus one is true for N is equal to K plus one since nine T is divisible by nine, all right? And I can now write a final statement. This is a very big statement. So we can now say hence, by the principle, by the principle of mathematical induction, all right, by the principle of mathematical induction, P of N is true, P of N is true for all N which is a member of the set of natural numbers. All right, that is what we will have. Now, in the examination, students tend to lose marks because they don't write their statements, okay? You have to ensure that you follow everything step by step. So you let P of N be equal to this. Then in the base case, you prove that P of N is true for N is equal to one, all right? Then you make a final statement and say, therefore, P of N is true for N is equal to one since 135 is divisible by nine, all right? Then you have the inductive step where you assume P of N to be true for N is equal to K. Then you prove that P of N is true for N is equal to K plus one, all right? You do your necessary algebra, okay? And you now say, therefore, P of K plus one is true for N is equal to K plus one since this 90 here is divisible by nine. And you make a final statement. This is your conclusion for the proof. And say, hence, by the principle of mathematical induction, P of N is true for all N is a member of the set of natural numbers. You could even say, instead of saying the set of natural numbers, you could also say the set of positive integers, right? Because the set of positive integers and the set of natural numbers are the same set, okay? So, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please ensure to like this video, okay? Comment down below, let me know how you found this video. And you can also share the video with your friends. And if you aren't already a subscriber, please ensure to subscribe, all right? I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica. And I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.